Hello, hello, Mordimers here and welcome back to the Kerns Cup 2020. The tournament finished already and we know the winner, but uh, I would like to show you two games um, of the winner, how she won this tournament. And first of these games uh, was played against Valentina Gunina. So Valentina Gunina, uh, she is 30 years old player from Russia. Interesting thing is that in 2019 she won the first edition of the Kerns Cup, so uh, definitely a strong uh, player. However, in 2020, uh, she didn't play so well. And uh, her ranking 2461, and it gives her a 25th uh, place in the world, um, according to the FIDE list of the ranked players. And uh, she play as black. And as white, we have Hampi Conero, uh, the winner of this edition of Kerns Cup. And she is player from India. Her ranking 2580. And that means she is number three in the world. Of course, the best player in India. And she is also 32 years old. So I think it's a peak of her career, um, a very strong player, definitely. Let's jump into the game and see what happened. So Hampi Conero um, as white and she opened with knight f3. We have d5, d4, knight f6, c4, e6, and knight c3 and c6. So we have semi-slav defense on the board, e3. Knight B on D7, Bishop on D3, uh, and now we have um, very its main line of course of of the uh, Samislav D takes on C4, B takes on C4, and B5. Um, this is very popular of course, and it's called Meran variation. And um, Black usually play A6 and attack with C5. Um, However, after bishop on d3, we have bishop b7 first, castle by white, a6 as planned, and here the most popular um, way of playing is e4, so attacking um, the center. It's also possible to play a4, it's not, not so popular, and after um, b4 and knight e4, uh, we could exchange a couple of pieces, and after c5, knight f6, Knight f6 and d takes on c5. Bishop takes on c5 and the, and the game would continue. Uh, Black would castle and uh, would have these uh, bishops to, to attack the white's position. Uh, but it's pretty equal and uh, played also many, many times. After e4, however, it's a slightly more exciting game. Uh, we have c5. And here e5 is possible, uh, but also d5 is possible, and d5 is the most popular line here. So we have d5, uh, and that now the main line, which was not played here, would be queen on c7, but I would like to show you that because to just to feel the position, what's going on. So uh, usually it's d takes on e6, f takes on e6, so we have the weakness here. Uh, and after bishop on c2, bishop on d6 and now knight g5 so now there is the this pawn is attacked and it can be defended this way knight on f8 and yes it it's it, it is the weakness here of course but uh, black actually have very strong attack and white has to be very careful here uh, so it's something for something of course uh, also in this position, e takes on d5 comes to mind because nobody wants to uh, deal with the weakness on e6, of course, but it doesn't really work. It looks like black gonna win the pawn, uh, but it's only temporary. So after e takes on d5 and e takes on d5, knight takes on d5 and exchanging all the pieces uh, possible on d5 we would have bishop on b5. There are better moves with uh, rook on e1 and attack on the, um, on the king, uh, but even bishop on b5 uh, is enough um, interesting. e takes on b5 and then uh, queen on d5 and uh, the king is still in the center. Um, 
and it's not easy for black to continue the game so there is no weakness on e6 but there is a huge weakness on e8 so um, definitely not the best um, idea to play uh, of course it's playable and it was played a couple of times but uh, not really recommended uh, however, here we have C4, the um, number two popular uh, continuation, C4, and C4, um, everything is okay with this continuation. Uh, even in 1996, uh, Vladimir Kramnik won uh, with uh, C4 against Garry Kasparov. So the continuation is fine, and that's what we have in the game. Bishop on C2, and now we have Queen on C7. So quite similar, just um, just slightly different. Now we have D takes on E6, F takes on E6 uh, as planned, and now Knight on G5. And here is the critical moment. Uh, knight on c5, uh, this is the most popular and actually the only line which can be played with uh, some success. So for example, knight on c5 and then e5, um, it's strong here, queen e5 and now rook on e1. Queen has to move to d6, exchange the queens. And now we could have a uh, bishop on e3 attacking the defender of the e6 uh, pawn. Uh, castle here, don't stay in the in the center for too long. And then after bishop takes on c5, bishop takes on c5, knight, uh, sorry, knight takes on uh, e6 and rook f on c8 defending the, the bishop. And the position is totally equal um, and uh, of course can, can be played still. And it, it was played many, many times, so this line is well known. And, um, and and it's only line to, to actually play this position. However, we have queen on c6 and queen on c6 actually was played, for example, by Anatoly Karpov. Uh, so you would think that's a good line. However, uh, he played in 2006 against Hampi Conero. So can you imagine 14 years ago? So Hampi Koneru was 18 years old and she played against Anatoly Karpov and actually she won that game because this queen on um, c6 is a blunder. And now feel free to pause the video and find the strongest continuation for white while I enjoy my cup of tea. Okay, ready? So, Hampi Koneru actually uh, played the same move uh, 14 years ago and now, and it's queen on f3, and the plan is to move the queen on h3 and attack the uh, e6 weakness. Uh, that's the strongest plan in this position, and... Um, what we can say, h6 was played by Gunina and by Karpov as well, uh, and, and, and here queen on h3. And here, for example, Karpov play knight on c5. I will show you this line where Karpov lost at that time. So knight on c5, and then after bishop on e3, uh, we had bishop on c8, because uh, now if the defender of this pawn uh, is taken, um, then the position, you know, uh, collapse. So uh, bishop on c8 by Karpov, uh, e5, and now h takes on g5, so sacrificing the exchange, but there is not much to do here. Uh, queen h8, bishop on b7, now trying to um, checkmate, but we have simply f3. Uh, knight f to d7, bishop on g5, and Hampi Koneru didn't have problem to uh, win uh, against Anatoly Karpov. So she knew this position very well, even, you know, um, many years later, uh, but it's still, still the same. Uh, other possibility here would be knight on e5, but it's also, uh, it's nothing better in this line. White just simply exchange all the pieces uh, possible, so queen on e6, Queen on e6, knight on e6, and now uh, king f7, but just exchange the pieces, uh, rook h on f8, and now f3, solidifying the position, 
and of course uh, white stands uh, better and uh, should easily win the, the game it's uh, extra pawn and actually it's the pass pawn and also it's pair of bishops so um, th that would be better uh, and here actually uh, h takes on g5 was played by Gunina, we have queen on h8 and knight on e5. Uh, it was possible to try some tricks but uh, they actually doesn't work, for example b4, uh, moving the knight, uh, picking up the e4 and then trying to checkmate on g2. That uh, could be possible some attack like this but actually white can play knight on e2. Uh, and after knight on e4, then knight d4 with attack on the queen. So queen has to move and still staying on this diagonal. But then queen on h5, king d8, that's the actually only move. And now bishop g5 with check, knight g5. And now queen on g5 with check and attack on the king. So actually um, there is not much choice, queen has to take on g5, knight e6, knight e6, this is the tactic here, knight e6 with check, uh, so king has to move and then picking up the, the queen, and if you count the material there is of course um, extra pawn and the uh, exchange up for white, so white would um, definitely win as well. So b4 doesn't work, knight e5, that was played by Gunina, and here we have bishop on g5. Uh, knight f7, attacking that bishop, and we have queen on h4, so putting the pressure here now uh, on f6, and now bishop on e7, defending. Rook a on d1, so cutting the, the, the king from the queen side, so now also the queen side castle is not possible. We have queen on c5 and now e5 attacking the knight. So now black has a choice uh, to pick up this pawn by the knight or by the queen. If uh, Gunina try with the queen, then she didn't play that, but then uh, bishop on g6 um, pinning the knight so now we have the, um, the idea of checkmate on the last rank and then king f8 has to be played and pin the knight uh, bishop e3 and uh, black actually has not much to play rook on d8 just exchanging and the game could continue white of course stands better uh, black has um, problems with these pawns and also they are uh, down the exchange so white would um, definitely win this game uh, however Gunina here just took by the knight and it's not even better it's it's actually it's even worse uh, bishop takes on f6 that was played in the game uh, that's the easiest and simplest way to win actually if ham piconero would like to play you know optimal then bishop on e4 would be the best move and after exchanging because this this um, bishop is pinned uh, knight on e4 could be played uh, knight g6 attacking the queen but now knight f6 with check g takes on f6 and now queen on e4 would be very powerful because now uh, rook is under attack and uh, knight is under attack so um, king f7 and then queen takes on e8 uh, queen takes on g5 and now white are um, up two exchanges so two rooks uh, for two minor pieces that would be even more devastating however a bishop on f6 is much easier uh, and less calculation is required queen on f6 uh, with attack on the queen so queen h5 with check king e7 and now we have bishop on e4 trying to exchange the the bishop. Bishop of course is pinned because rook is behind, so a uh, bishop on c6. Now um, Conero just exchanged the bishops, queen on c6, rook f on e1, so the rooks are placed in the center and uh, they are of course very strong. We have knight on d3, so trying to put um, the knight in the very very optimal place on 
the um, outpost on d3 it looks very very good but uh, it's not enough knight d5 with check and of course the knight can't be taken as this um, this pawn is actually pinned so king f8 uh, there, there is no other move uh, because the queen of course slices this diagonal so uh, we have a uh, king on f8 and now knight f6 so uh, Humpy just um, exchanged all the pieces. We have g takes on f6, queen h8 with check, king f7, queen h7 with check, king e8, and now rook e3. So now uh, rook on g3 is coming and checkmate. Uh, so how to defend? We have knight on f4 and it's very smart way to defend because uh, now first at all, we have the attack and uh, that would be the that would be checkmate and now if rook is played on g3 then we would have a fork here on the king and that rook and um, that would give some chances for black as well so uh white still have to be careful here and and here we have first queen on g8 with check king e7 Queen g7, check, king e8, and only now we can play other moves as this uh, g2 is uh, now secured. So now rook on d4, attack on the knight, and c3 is the last move. If knight is taken, then of course c2, and that would be the problem uh, for white, as white would have to sacrifice the, the, the exchange, actually the rook for this pawn, and uh, black would have the chance to, uh, to draw that game still. Uh, but after B takes on C3, um, Valentina Gunina just resigned the game, there is nothing she can do now. Um, she can try knight on d5, just uh, bring the knight to the defend, but uh, it's not enough. Now um, rook h3 is coming, so this is a um, checkmate here. King d8, just trying to, you know, um, block by the queen, but rook h7, and now it's nothing to do now. Uh, black actually doesn't have any moves. Uh, if the king is moved, then it's checkmate and the queen would be taken so black can play whatever we have now queen on e7 with check pushing the the king of course uh, this knight can take because it's pinned uh, so after king on c8 uh, rook h8 and uh, and that would be just checkmate so this is why in this position valentina gunina just resigned the game so congratulations to hampi conero and i'm gonna prepare now one more game very important game where hampi conero i think won this tournament so next game we're gonna gonna be very very important uh so just i'm gonna upload that in a couple of hours um so stay tuned and if you like this video press like and if you don't like press on like and um, don't forget to of course subscribe if you don't want to miss any other videos uh, another one is coming thanks for watching and see you in the next one